let me just give you a quick warning this may turn into a rather long affair first day on the farm out at the farm uh, I really 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 loved it uh, found very little of interest or of value yet it was a superb day as you can see if you follow along with me I hope you don't mind if it turns into a bit of a, a saga but I, I try to capture everything that was happening around me the weather the rain the storms the farm animals the wind in the barley and everything so join me now thanks for being here I really hope you enjoy this Yeah, I'll pause a little bit longer for you to take that in. That's some view, isn't it? Um, this is the first showing of my new permission. This is one of the camps. Uh, the last time I was here, up over there somewhere, I found a Britannia Penny, penny uh, George V. Now I have a plan. I'm going to be working uh, test squares. I've used the these things. You might know what they are. Um, the previous time I was detecting, I found nine of them, I think. So I'll be using these. I'll be doing a ten by tens for starters all over here. Just random ten by ten spots. Uh, I'll sort of take reference points. So that I know where I've been. So that is the plan to get started with. Uh, also behind there, down in that direction, there's some shrubland that will be worth investigating. Because that is getting closer to one of the past uh, spots of interest. I will note categorically it's not near any heritage site or sites of archaeological interest or anything of the kind um, I mentioned in a previous video that this permission was close to on the northern side that side close to a site and a zone that I will avoid like the plague because I do not want to get accused of anything wrongdoing but I thought I'll show you this because this is beautiful, really, really, really beautiful. I'll show you more as I go along. But for now, that's the introduction. Thanks for being here. Uh, I do, do hope you enjoy my first real uh, visit to the farm. Let's just call it the farm. I'm going to make a playlist uh, specifically relating to all my visits to the farm okay i'll pipe up i'll stop waffling uh, i know there's a lot of iron you see there he goes again you think to yourselves yeah i know there's a lot of iron and scat in the ground um the farmer has confirmed that these were if you look at the maps which i will also include um there's two, there's different maps, but there's also two different photos on the archaeological and environmental viewer. Um, not photos, uh, uh, digitized maps, uh, visuals, I mean maps, re uh, satellite views, that's what I'm trying to get at. So this was, in a previous lifetime, plowed. You can see the on the map, so I'll show you that map first. And then I'll show you the next map with it in Greenfield condition. So then you can compare uh, more or less. I'll also draw in the block where I am going to be operating. First block. Okay. Block. Okay. Now I promise you I'll stop waffling. And we're going to set up our first square. Typical. I would get my fourth peg right in a pile of horse dung. Horse dung. There's the other peg over there. Can you see it? There. 
and that's where we started now there's a reason why I started there because where you can you see where the detectors lying uh, I dug a target there so I thought it's only fair I said I would dig in a particular area in a particular square so yeah that's a big lump of as the farmer said big lump of iron it must have been a piece of pipe at some point in time look at that for a piece of iron okay so i'm going to put the iron on one side we'll swing the detector and we'll see there could be a bit more of the iron there no, I'm not going to bother with it. We'll flip the plug closed. We'll jump on it. And then I'll start at that corner over there where you see the little red marker. And work my way to that flag there. And we'll just mark this whole area off on the map. And then I'll know for future reference that this area has been walked. Okay. Enough scat chat, we started off with a nice strong iron uh, target, but the point is to dig everything that we find in the square as a sample. Square number one, sampling on the way. On the farm, yep, on the farm. Target two, more of the same. Okay, it's out of the ground now, look at these numbers. In the ground, yeah, you see there, you have 50s and all sorts. Look at that. And with some, when it's in the ground, it seems to not give as much um, iron grunt. So let's check again. That hole is clear. Target number two in square number one on the farm. Yep, on the farm. Target number three. Here we go. Horrid numbers. But we committed to check the whole square. There we go. 1822s. So dig that spot there. It's probably a, a lump of large again. Let me find it. If you're wondering, there's a bit of muck about, a bit of rain, a bit of dashing, a bit of thising, a bit of thatting. And uh, the horses and their foals followed me into this field. So I'll just be keeping an eye out for them because I don't want to get assaulted by a horse. I'm feeling this is an old fence post or something that's been driven into the ground. I'm not going to get that out. So I'm going to cover it up. And that's number three. Look at it here from a few angles that goes down in and in and in so i'm not going to get that out so i'm not even going to bother we'll cover it up we know we've had three lumps big lumps for the first three targets persevere we shall persevere we only just got you so we're definitely going to there's quite a signal here It's probably another large lump, a large lump of what? I'll let you know as soon as I get it out. Yep, a large lump. Meet the new spadey. See, I've chopped the handle a lot shorter so that it's more uh, user friendly. It's not a gardening spade, it's a digging spade. I've sharpened the blade a bit. But I want to trim the blade down a bit at some point, narrow it, and angle the tip of it for better operation uh, there we have it another big lump of iron okay so let's just see once we get that out of the way if there's anything else here for us to find no that was empty well it is now empty so i'm placing little markers and walking towards them and then shifting them and coming this and that way so let me continue I'm about probably going now for about the halfway through the first square I have a semi plan 
for the next square there where we see the flag if I can find it there it is then I'll use that flag as a reference to build a checker that way and that way and that way and that way um, we'll see how we get on with that second square but first we have to finish the first square and there comes a bit of sunlight and I, it is quite breezy up here so if the wind is bugging you I do apologize bear with me please I think that was passing me by and I'm sure I heard a bit of a rumble in it. Anyway, I've set up the second square. First square delivered only iron and coal. You can see in the more towards the center of the field what's going on. Uh, look at the, them ponies, them ponies. They're running around. I'm going to record this because I thought I was hearing right in the distance. There was a big, big, big rumble just gone by. As I turned on my trajectory, I saw the lightning. So let's see if we catch any of it. I'm out in the open, but there's a lot of trees and stuff around me. So I should be pretty alright. I'm close to the fence line, but not on it. The horses aren't spooked, so they sense better than what we do. But let's see if we can get a a bit of action. It comes drops. You can hear it on my wet gear. I have my wet gear. There was a bit of sheet lightning. We should get a bit of a rumble there. I seem to have waited in vain for the uh, thunder and lightning show. But look at that. Isn't that quite a stunning picture? There it goes by. Oh, out to sea now. Listen to it. Oh, I'll point in that direction for a bit. Maybe we can get some action out to sea. Let's see if Zeus, 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 call him what you want to, that fellow. See if he gate crashes Neptune's party. Maybe he's in the mood to go and get himself a fresh Sheila, mermaid Sheila. Yep. Maybe he's in the mood for that. That one got the ponies a trotten. Definitely got the ponies a trotten. I think it has passed me by. So let's pick up the the action here on the detecting fields. Let's go and do square. Square two, we were working on square two. He has the, has our little marker flags. So let's get cracking again. Okay, I've come away there from the squares. I did the second square, I completed it. Uh, it was empty, nothing to report. Uh, the only reason why I came away there, if I put the third one out in my checkerboard pattern, I would be going too close to the horses. Uh, they were spooked by the, the cell that passed, the lightning, the thunder, the thunder more so. Uh, so they're behind that little hill. So I came walking in a straight line down here, the piece, pieces of iron, big pieces of iron here. But then here I picked up a signal. Uh, mind you, the straight line too, even on a farm, 
There's Canslaw. Yes, yes, yes. And I dug this, not quite sure if it is a, just a small piece of iron or what it was. And it came out of here and there was the core of it and here it is. And it feels very much like aluminium. Looks like it's got a knurled edge, but I don't see any screw thread and it's slightly tapered. Any ideas? Anybody? Any ideas? Well, okay, so that's the first question mark item that I found today. The rest is just all big iron, uh, remnants of that kind of thing. There you can see there in that little, uh, that little ditch over there, there's another lump sticking out. So this is what I'm finding uh, lots of, but that was a half interesting item. So let's see if, uh, if I swing the detector, if there's anything else around here. Because if we find out one half interesting item, then there might be other half interesting or more interesting items. Quiet there, that also, that was it. That rang quite strange because it indicated deep. And that wasn't very deep, that was about, what, three? five four inches deep five inches okay i'll stop prattling i'll show you as it goes by and i'll show you that the next time that's going to come will probably get me so my intention is to head towards the farm buildings i can i'm allowed to detect around them too so if i need to get undercover fast i can do that but for now about the wind noise this is the views I'm having to appreciate. I'm heading for that gate so that I can walk the edge here along the edge of the barley field. Yeah, yeah, that's barley. Spring barley, I've been reliably informed. But yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Look, I mean, this is really what's happening here. What's happening here? Do you see anything that's happening here? Listen to it. Sixty-nine seventies. My guess is a can. What's your guess? Yeah, I wasn't too far off. It's not quite a full can, but it's a big lump of can. So there we go. We need to dig them too, don't we? Okay, we'll just carry on regardless. Yeah, 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 this is boring farm life for you. And a bit of that flavor, I think you'll recognize that flavor, won't you? And look, it's got barcoding on it, so it can't be that ancient. So, maybe a generation ago, we're still here, we still haven't got to the gate. To prove to you that we have to dig. Wind in the barley, wind in the spring barley, two row barley, good for beer and whiskey. I suppose for animal feed and human feed too, but this is for beer and whiskey. One day, one day is one day, I'll brew my own. Right, so there's a bit of wind in the barley. I would say... I'm not going to escape as lightly as the previous time. I would say I have to find shelter soon, soon, which is where I'm heading. I'll be there soon, soon at the shelter. Otherwise, I'm going to have to duck and dive under these. Look at that. That's coming at me. Full tilt. That's coming at me. It's a lovely picture, ain't it? Shelter is a terrific thing, wouldn't you say? Look at them sheep out there. They don't care. They're just munching along. I'm dry. I'm here in the stable. And I have no sense of smell. What a pleasure. Oh, I made it just in time. 
just, just in time. Then the slashing came down. Ah, pleasure. The rain has passed me by again, temporarily. So I'm out here in a bit of sunshine, listening to the sheep go. <laughs> the horse is going, <laughs> and the detector go. We had numbers, but I have to dig all the numbers here to get used to what I can find here. Apart from scat. Uh, no boat scat yet. I haven't found any boat scat yet. Look at that for a picture. It's rather pleasant, isn't it? I think this mare and her little pony have come to pay me a visit. Very curious what I'm up to. This little pony, I've seen him charging around down in the bottom field too with all the other foals, maybe horses, call them what you want to. That gave me quite a start because I was bending down there in the hole, picking up the, the can slaw, the farm scat, when the uh, next thing they were upon me. Inquisitive. I have to go back to that gate there. My good lady has requested a wind in the barley recording in the portrait orientation so I'll go back there for a wind in the barley in the portrait orientation in the meantime I'll keep swinging as good swingers do I didn't have to work too hard for this one this was lying on the ground somebody of this domicile used that in years gone by there's a signal here somewhere, but I reckon it's, it's uh, farm scat again. It was here somewhere. There we go. I'm going to dig it. If not, why not? I'm going to dig it. Here comes the breeze again. Ah, so I will dig it. I'll show you what comes out there. But I reckon it's another lot of flat cans something brassy you, you can just make out a bit of brass color there something brassy it's confirmed let's put it down there we get the magnet on it just to make sure to make sure but i definitely believe that's something brassy okay there's the camera at least the magnet no nope. it's definitely something brassy 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 there we go from Scat, I said. Farm scat. There we go. I did dig two plugs. I had to dig two plugs. Because I'm not used to digging green plugs anymore. Bad news. Okay. Let's continue onwards towards the fields of gold. Right, that's my portrait upright field of gold duties completed for the good lady herself. See, I have to be obliging when she requests, I have to do, otherwise I'm going to have to walk up. Yeah, yeah, you know the old story. Uh, do as you are told and not as do as I say. Do as I say and not as I do, whatever that story goes, this is just too special. I'm absolutely loving being out here. Uh, as you can see, this is dragged on now endlessly long. I'm sorry about that, but I'm sure you won't mind spending uh, a few minutes with me out here on the farm, uh, witnessing all of this and living it up here between the rain showers, the thunder and the lightning. The horses and the ponies and the sheep are bleating and the chickens and the ducks and the geese and the 
you name it we just haven't uh, encountered any of the cattle today yet we can always go and wander through there if you really want me to but i'll give it a, a bit of thought they're in a, a field there close to the stable where i sheltered from the rain just now but for now i'll stop waffling uh, i've actually marked a target back there in the field of green where the sheep is bleating and where the pony came and paid me a visit or us a visit the pony and the foal but for now i'll just let the wind rustle the barley a bit before i go back to digging Enough. Okay, I'll go back to digging shortly. The last time I had a nectarine, a beach peach was on the beach. I better have me a nectarine in the fields of gold too. Better I not. I'm going to have that now as me afternoon snack. Lovely. There's the gate. I've just come back through it to here where I'd marked the target. Dug the plug. You reckon that's an old style pull tab? I wonder. Well, I'm sure we'll see now. Ha ha! Your guess is as good as mine. Look what we got. Look what we've got. We got enough cancel. We got lumps of farm scat now we've got a uh, pull tab but we've also had a load a load of fun and exploring and finding out and looking where would be likely places to dig so i hope you're enjoying my sojourn here at the farm and i hope you're gonna enjoy my uh, future visits too that makes quite a nice picture the framing of the gate wouldn't you say okay this is a rather promising look at that bang on 69 that could just be our can slow us stuff but it could also be uh, okay okay I don't have to go Waste your time much longer. There we go. That's exactly what it is. The bottom of a can. All right. Disappointments galore. But if we eliminate all the muck, surely we're going to find more coins. Uh, I mean, that first coin that I found you yeah, the one and only coin up there in the top field where I started off today with the first uh, square. That is a silver era coin. So surely that's not the only coin on this premises. Okay, we'll carry on regardless. Regardless, regardless, because this is a serious fun. Just let's check our plug and our hole again. No, that was it. Uh, another bit of farm scat. Now for the toothpaste tube or whatever tube that was. Whatever tube that came out. Uh, a full five six inches down so yeah we're getting the stuff can slaw farm slaw uh, farm scat whatever you want to call it we're getting it out of the ground okay the time has come for me to say that's it from the farm for today thank you for joining me it was great having you with me I hope you found some value even although I found nothing Listen, here's our, my friend. I come to show you my friend. You hear my friend talking to you all the time. Here's my friend. Anyway, enough of my friend now. Ah. Here we go. My friend is saying bye to you now. Uh, I will say, thanks for watching. We'll go there. Ah. There goes friend now. That followed me around when I was in this camp. A good self is on the way to come and collect me. So let me just show you this for a picture again. As I say, as per always, 
stay safe, stay free and be happy and thank you for watching. Bye from me, the fields of barley, and the farm scat and my friend the sheep and the ponies and the horses. Yeah, listen, he's saying, she's saying, bye. You know what happens when you swing towards the car park? You just carry on swinging. You swing strong 91s, so I had to look. And there you go. There's a bit of, it's probably some horse, tackle, horse, cat, horse, whatever, brass ring. So there's something of note today. A brass ring. It's a giant ring. Out of that little hole there. There's my friend, the lamb that wants to go to the braai. Okay, I'll keep moving. Bye. Let's see if Zeus, 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 call him what you want to, that fellow. See if he gate crashes Neptune's party. Maybe he's in the mood to go and get himself a fresh healer. Mermaid Sheila, yep, maybe he's in the mood for that.